I'm Big Tractor Power fans. I'm at the 2023 National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm here with Aaron from Agco, and Agco is celebrating a landmark anniversary, 100 years of Gleaner Combines, 100 years of self-propelled combines, because in 1923, Gleaner Baldwin was the first self-propelled combine on the market, and a huge innovation for the industry that Agco is still building on today. Correct. So Aaron, a uh, very cool Gleaner S97 sitting here. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell us? Uh, I guess we'll talk about the cosmetics and then there are several updates for 23 sure, as well. Sure. So all model year 23, so again, that 100 year celebration, there's very few companies that can go out there and say 100 years. And not only that, do something very specific as 100 years of harvesting. And so this year we really wanted to celebrate that. And the other thing we wanted to make sure is that everybody had a had a chance to be able to celebrate in in uh, in, in that hundred years. So we wanted to make sure every single centennial edition combine, every single year of model year 23 is a centennial edition. So if you order a model year 23, you're getting the centennial edition decal package. So if we kind of take a look at the package here uh, and kind of follow along. The first thing that you really notice and the most striking feature that a lot of people really enjoy is the galvanized on the corner. That is by far the most popular aspect of it in that we're honoring that heritage from the day one when Curtis Baldwin built these. He, of course, it was built in the plains of Kansas where there tends to be a dust storm every once in a while. And he felt, what's the use of painting something that the dust is going to ultimately just, just wear the paint off and then you have rusty metal. So. Um, he innovated the fact that he used built them all out of galvanized. So we wanted to make sure that we honored that history with the galvanized print that's on that decal. Um, the other thing that you'll notice on that there on the right hand side is that natural flow uh, decal. We've been using the natural flow. It's actually started development. We've been using it for the better part of 55 years. So more than half of the, the life of the Gleaner Combine, we've had that natural flow processor to where we're able to deliver the efficiency and performance and capacity uh, that a lot of folks are wanting and, and something they can rely on. So we wanted to make sure we honored that with that natural flow detail. And in 100 years, Gleaner has basically offered two types of combines. Right. The traditional walker threshing system and then the, the rotary style starting in 1979. Absolutely, and the natural flow. And that's, again, it goes back to that design principle that we've always talked about of incremental improvements over, over a proven design. And that's what why we've been using the natural flow processor for over over 55 years or for 55 years just for the simple fact that it's a known good uh, uh, design and we're just improving it so so yeah we wanted to make sure we captured that that s that uh, that natural flow decal on on the centennial edition of the machine the other feature that you kind of see is that s97 the, the, the logo for the for this class size or the, the size of the machine um, the that is really reminiscent of, again, kind of that halcyon heyday of Gleaner Combines in the, the conventional series. That's to, That kind of uh, mimics the, the A's and the E's and the F. That, that decal, the font, is, is mimicking that, that same decal. Because again, that's where a lot of people kind of root their history in, is that, <laughs> that conventional machine, and really see that heyday, the halcyon days of Gleaner Combines. And then finally, probably the most uh, one of the another really recognizable and really popular features is of course the orange on the swoop. Um, that's Alice Chalmers. A lot of the, the older tractor guys know that that's, that's that lineage at, at, with Alice Chalmers. And again, some of the early days of Agco as well because that, that triangle was, was orange as well. So we wanted to make sure we honored that. Again, both Alice Chalmers and, and Agco, um, the longest partners that have been with Gleaner Combines for the, for the longest time. So we wanted to make sure that orange was, was captured there. Oh, it's exciting to see. Yeah. Edco is a, a corporate red now, and yep. that's the Gleaner Combines a few years ago switched to that. But mm -hmm. for one year only, we get that we little get the hint orange. of orange and, back and in there. And we will go back next year to red because the, with the whole architecture of the company now, it's Gleaner is underneath the Massey Ferguson umbrella because it's, it's the harvest solution for Massey Ferguson. And so we want to make sure we've, we've got great, straightforward, and dependable tractors with the Massey line, and we've got a great, straightforward, and dependable combine. So it's, it's really, the fact that they're under the same umbrella really isn't surprising because it's, it's two great products that do exactly what our operators and our customers want in, in making an efficient, reliable machine that they can depend on. So 
Um, some of the, again, we were talking about making that defendable, uh, efficient machine, the, the incremental improvements. Mm -hmm. That's some of the stuff that we did on the Model Year 23. In addition to this great decal package that we have, um, we focused on the accelerator rolls, uh, making sure that we make those as dependable as, 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 as we can be. We've updated. And that's, that's part of when it's coming here into the feeder house right. and, and so accelerating through the machine. It actually, it's after the processor. So after it goes through our feeder house into the, the natural flow processor, when the grub and material come out of the, the separator and the processor, it goes, of course, our distribution augers pull it over the top of the accelerator rolls, and the accelerator rolls propel it or shoot it through that first stream of air. Because we've got two streams of air, one that goes over the top of the shoe and the one goes up through the bottom to stratify and suspend it. And one of the things I like about this show is we get to see what it looks like opened up in here. Sure, yeah. And, and the natural flow process, a lot of combine, rotary combines kind of twist it and wrap it around a drum. Right, right. And this, you, the crop's always going in the same direction. It's always going the in the same direction. It's a single ribbon of crop that goes around the process, around the rotor. And that's where that efficiency comes in. And really we're a great bin sample as well. Because if you really think about it, Anytime you're twisting that crop around, it takes horsepower to be able to do that, and it impedes flow into the into the machine. So the fact that we're just taking that ribbon of, of crop through there and not changing it, we're, we're, we're really trying to increase that efficiency and better bin sample because we're not cracking or splitting grain. So that's great for the bin, great bin sample, and if you're storing it on, on your site, that's less clean out at the end of the day because I don't know that's that's the best time to go talk to somebody about bin samples isn't it that when they're dumping it into the grain tank it's when they're cleaning it out and they see those fines on the on the floor because they realize that a that's a lot of work you got to be able to get that out of there and b that's lost revenue in, in cracks and splits so we want to make sure that the bin sample is the best when it goes in and then when it's coming out of the bin as well it's, it's looking good as well I have to say I film every brand of combine out there and there's yeah. a lot of good combines but the gleaner in my opinion and observing it you know for over 20 years of filming it's putting the cleanest sample and the least amount of grain out the back it's not just a saying nothing cleaner than a gleaner it that's is right. absolutely the truth so they're and, impressive and we want to make sure that's through the whole process of the harvest crop even unloading the the angled unloading auger is there um, not only for its efficiency 3.9 bushels per per second that you're moving 390 bushels so that's that's a lot of a lot of material so it's very efficient but it's also very gentle in that we're not forcing it through a turret and loading auger and and damaging the grain because ultimately anytime it touches another surface other than grain it's going to get a little bit of damage so if we can smooth that process out and make it as efficient and and as free flowing as possible that's all the better for that grain sample makes sense that's one of my top questions why do they have that pivot mm -hmm. now and, we know and, we, we get we get some, we gotta talk to a lot of people about it, but ultimately it's again, a proven design that we absolutely love. And, and in the end, it's helping our operators out. And that's that's our goal is to how to make the best bin sample so our operators can, can not only make a little bit as far as premiums and, and, and uh, the, the grain elevator, but also be proud of it. Because that's something, a, a pride thing that you take away when you can run your hands through that grain and just feel it just, just golden BBs or just, Whatever, whatever you got in there. And it, uh, it also plenty of clearance on a grain cart and a truck. And yeah, absolutely. You can unload and go, no problem. Yeah, and and if, if you've got, it's 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 really a great clearance. Um, if you look at a lot of the competition, we're just as high. So I mean, it, it's just it's just if you know where you're doing, and you know where you're unloading, you're, you're fine. As we head up to the cab, we can see that Agco has some great historical imagery here with the original N series from the late '70s early 80s the hundred years logo here in the graphics and then we can see that gleaner centennial decal on the side of the combine uh, we get a close-up look at the pivot style yeah. auger and that was the other thing as far as the decal packages that we really tried to focus in on because again we were talking about those generational owners is that everybody really has their favorite combine their favorite model and so when we were designing the, the, the decal package, we didn't want to just focus and make it look like another combine. We wanted to capture the elements that were truly signature gleaner. So that's why we did the, the, the galvanized uh, decal, why we did the, the, the logo font, why we did all of that stuff, because it's, it's, it captures the spirit of gleaner. When people see it, they instantly recognize it as a gleaner and not so much a specific model of the thing. 
So that's why we kind of try to be as, 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 as inclusive of all the models as possible. If you look over here to your right here, we have exactly kind of what I was walking through as far as each of the different elements of the, the combines. Um, again, we, we tried to, again, explain to folks exactly what we're trying to do here. And, and they, again, once we do this, they really appreciate that explanation because I think, again, it captures every element and, the, again, the spirit of what a clear combine is. So I'll just take a quick look here. So you can see that original natural flow, the number one. And then the galvanized steel started way back in 1923. And the font of the A, F, and G series. And then the orange from the Alice Chalmers tractors. And just the general heritage that reaches all the way back to 1923 with those Gleaner Baldwin combines. Great exhibit from Agco and a very historic combine to see here at the Machinery Show. Your big cosmetic uh, part of the celebration is this large Gleaner Centennial Edition, 1923 to right. 2023. So cool graphics. Uh, what else comes with purchasing a 2023 Gleaner? So again, we want to celebrate that 100 year history. So we've got a lot of operators that, that legitimately have had double digits of cleaner combines in their lifetime. So if, if you purchase a model year 23, you get a commemorative plaque that, that not only includes your name and the number of, of cleaner combines you've owned, but it also includes the serial number of the current machine that you just purchased. And that's something that you can keep and, and to kind of, again, honor that 100 year history and your dedication to the, to the cleaner brand and, and again we really appreciate that we have folks that it's 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 a generational combine it's something that they they rely on and and has kept the farm going over over a long period of time and they're very very dedicated to that to that brand and we just want to thank them to to, 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 to be do that because that really is, is again a rare thing it is it's a once a lifetime opportunity Absolutely. so it's nice to see a modern day collector's edition with a big machinery like this yes sir horsepower do these class six seven eight machines have so we wanted to make sure that we could build a machine that could fit the operation and have the horsepower demands that they have so we've got three different horsepower levels um, base level rated horsepower on each one of them it's 322 for the uh, the s96 and all the way up to 430 for the s98 so we really again try to find the best machine best options for our operators to fit that machine to the operation Very good. Well, let's take a look up in the cab and see the rest of it. Sounds great. Thank you. So now we get a good close-up look at this classic styling of the decal. The galvanized look and that 100 years of Gleaner decal there. And then a very nice cab, very quiet. Yes. And that's that's the number one comment that I hear from from customers, especially when I'm on demos, is that how quiet the cab is, is comparative to, to other brands, and really that goes into the design. Um, when when we started development on this back in 2015, one of the big things was they wanted to make sure they had a quiet cab because ultimately it's it's where the it's their office, it's where where most of our producers are spending most of their time, and they want to make sure it's comfortable and quiet. And, and that it's an enjoyable experience. I, again, I kind of talk about the harvest experience as far as being able to, to be in the field with little to no stress and, and just enjoying harvest. It's the best part of the year. It's, it's what you've been working to all year long. And if you can make it as enjoyable and, and meditative, we kind of joked around about that word before, but really just think about and put yourself in that seat. When you're seeing the crop going into the feeder house, Things are running like they are going. There's no better feeling in the world. And that's what we're trying to, at Gleaner, develop is the best Harvix experience possible. So having a quiet cab, having the acoustic glass, the big great, space. Great visibility. Exactly. exactly. You can see everything. It doesn't take a lot of stuff to be able to, a lot of movements to be able to do what you need to do in the field. That, again, it all adds to the enjoyment of harvest and, and just having a good time. Because that's ultimately, if you can enjoy harvest, I know you're going to love your combine. Because that's sure. that's what we're trying to get, is that loving your combine. And then everything over here is just controlled right on your armrest? Correct. Joystick so and... this is the multifunction armrest. This is, again, one of those common electrical architecture things that we added with the S9 series. Um, a great features as far as everything is straightforward. 
and and really easy to understand easy to operate there's not a lot of, of button clicks or page screen advancements to be able to do what you need to do it's simple straightforward buttons um, a really simple and straightforward ground drive um, really ergonomically designed uh, unloading augers the, all the operation of the the multifunction handle here and again that's that's the name of the game how to make it simple to operate simple to own and, and again, increase that enjoyment of operating the machine. And it looks like you have a plug-in here for an ag cam. Correct. And see up to four four screens of what's going on Correct. in the combine. So this is an option we can get from, there's a field install kit to be able to do that. And there's also an option to be able to install the ag cam um, from the factory. You get the ag cam, four screens here, and then there's a, a harness that installs to the right-hand side of the operator cab underneath. And that's where you plug your cameras in and your harnesses. Now those will be ordered separately. You'll order those through parts, but you get all your extension harnesses to be able to put a camera at the end of, um, end of the unloading auger as a backup camera, as any of that. Additionally though, not only do you get the four cameras here, but our Titan terminal has the ability to put two cameras on it as well. So you can order just the harness and plug it into a, a second connector that's underneath the right hand side and be able to get your backup camera and, and something in the grain tank or on the unloading auger on this terminal and then put four other cameras elsewhere on the machine. So for a, quality, a total of six cameras around the whole machine, you can really get a good view of what's going no, on. That helps uh, fill all the corners in in the cart. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And of course, you can always do the old fashioned thing and just look out the big just back window. Just look right behind here. your shoulder, right? Yeah. And again, that's that, that 390 bushel grain tank, um, standard on all machines. Uh, the three, the, the powerful grain tank extensions that from the inside of the cab here on the LCP um, be able to open and close from the inside of the cab. Um, 390 bushels, that's, that's one of the larger ones in the, the, the market. And it's also carried lower to the center of gravity of the machine. That's a bin, uh, something that, that, again, the natural flow processor gives you is the ability to carry the, the grain closer to the center of the gravity. So if you're on any kind of side hills or anything like that, a more stable footprint. So where it's more safer to operate. And a lighter one if you get muddy conditions. And that's the other big thing about Gleaner is that it's lighter. And that's not only for muddy conditions, but a big push right now in agronomy is soil health. If you've got less soil compaction, that means your soil is healthier and you get better yields at the end of the year. So when you have a lighter machine, not only is it more easy to operate because it's floating on top of the, the softer soil, but you're more gentle on the soil and helping you out in the end as far as higher yields. Well, and then most importantly, I guess to wrap up, we've also have this nice galvanized Gleaner logo right there. There's look little, at your steering wheel. little accents between that and then up on the LCP, you'll see there's a specialized Super Series uh, part of it. Uh, again, little details to try to capture as much of that that signature Gleaner look that we're we're trying to really trying to capture with the Centennial right. Edition. Well, and I appreciate the tour because I'm looking forward to hopefully filming one of these in wheat in June. Uh, yep. And then, uh, now I know that what to look for when I'm in the cab and point it out again. Absolutely. You'll enjoy it. I, I guarantee you. Nothing better than wheat in the gleaner because that's you get, you'll be able to really get again, get that positive harvest experience. Well, thank you very much. And if people want to learn more about gleaner, um, Agco's website. GleanerCombines.com is our website, and the other great place to really follow is on Twitter and on Facebook, at Gleaner Combines on both of those. And then um, we do have a YouTube channel as well. We're gonna, you're gonna see a lot, of, a lot of this kind of content as far as training stuff, um, tips and tricks on how to operate your machine, and then just some of the stuff that we're doing in the field, because that's, that's also a lot, a lot of folks, you know better than anybody, they want to see the machine operating in the field so they can kind of make some of those informed decisions about what they want Absolutely. Do. And the best thing is talk to your dealer about Number trying one, one out yeah. during the harvest. Absolutely. Well, thank you. And I'll look forward to seeing what the next 100 years brings. To well, the I winter. am too. I am too. It's oh. going to be an exciting ride either way. Thank you very much. Thanks.